good morning in the last class we have discussed about biot savars law that is magnetic field intensity at any point due to a small current carrying conductor in this class in the first class we are discussing the magnetic field intensity at any point due to a current carrying loop consider a loop this is the loop a coil with one turn and the current is flowing through this loop in the anti clockwise direction current i and the radius of this loop is capital r and we have to find the magnetic field intensity at the point p at a distance x from the center of the loop due to this current carrying conductor when a current is flowing through a conductor when a current is flowing through a loop there is a magnetic field set up around the conductor and therefore at every point there is a magnetic field and we have to find what is the magnetic field at the point p due to the current carrying conductor in order to find that by using biot savart's law we consider a small element a small segment of length dl at this point the distance to the point p is r and the angle turned by this length to the radius is theta and this can be extended this is the direction of magnetic field this is the vertical direction this is the horizontal direction and this angle also is theta okay okay now uh, according to biot savart's law magnetic field intensity due to this small portion small length dd is equal to mu0 by 4 pi i dl sin theta divided by r square but here theta is the angle between not this angle this is the angle between i and dl and i is along this direction and the clockwise direction and dl is along uh, this loop therefore they are perpendicular to each other therefore this sin theta is equal to sin 90 is equal to 1 therefore db is equal to mu 0 by 4 pi i dl divided by r square okay now we have to find what is dl what is r this is the basic equation equation number one now consider at this point p the direction of magnetic field is along this along this way and that can be resolved into two components that can be divided into two components one is the horizontal component and one is the vertical component horizontal component is db sin theta and vertical component is db cos theta at this side we have cos theta theta, db cos theta. Now consider a similar piece of current carrying element here in the opposite. Here current is in the upward direction, here current is in the downward direction. A similar piece dl and the magnetic field at the same point due to this uh, segment is along this direction. That is also can be resolved into two components. One is vertical component and the other one is horizontal component. These two horizontal components are equal in the opposite, db sin theta in the opposite directions they get to cancel each other and this get added up and similarly there are opposite segments here and here here and here every at every point there are opposite elements and all the horizontal components around this point p all the horizontal components get cancelled each other therefore there is only vertical component the vertical component is db cos theta therefore actual db is equal to db cos theta this is the vertical component and Total magnetic field intensity due to the entire loop is equal to integral dB that is equal to integral mu0 by 4 pi i dl cos theta divided by r square. E cos theta is the sin theta is confused. Sin theta is equal to the sin theta. That is the i and dl is equal to the angle. This is the result of the theta. Therefore, this is the equation. Now, what is dl? What is cos theta? What is r square? What is cos theta? That we have to substitute. What is cos theta from this triangle? From this right angle, right angle triangle, this right angle triangle, cos theta is equal to adjacent side divided by adjacent side divided by hypotenuse r divided by capital R. Sorry, capital R divided by small r. Cos theta is equal to adjacent side divided by hypotenuse r by r. And what is the small r? From this triangle itself, we can write r square is equal to x square plus r square. Small r square is equal to x square plus capital R square or r is equal to 
square root of x square plus r square. Therefore, cos theta is equal to capital R divided by square root of x square plus r square. We have to substitute these two equations in this equation. Equation number this equation. Equation number one is equal to okay. Then b is equal to integral mu zero by four pi i dl. What is cos theta? R divided by square root of x square plus r square. Then what is one by r square? One by r square is equal to one by x square plus r square. Now this mu zero by four pi i r this x square plus r square all are constants. All can be taken out. Only the varying term is dl. Therefore, integral that is only dl. Matra bhaka baaki naza parthe kudha. Mu zero by four pi mu zero i r divided by four pi. Then the two parts are the three down. R square plus x square all raised to three by two. Then integral dl. What is integral dl? dl is the small portion integral dl is the complete length what is the complete length if r is the radius complete length of the loop is equal to 2 pi r that is b is equal to mu 0 i r divided by 4 pi r square plus x square all raised to 3 by 2 into here instead of the integral dl we can write 2 pi r okay 2 pi and 2 pi getting answers. 2 remaining 2. R and R changes to R square. The four we get B is equal to this is the final equation. Mu zero i R square divided by 2 into R square plus x square all raised to 3 by 2. This is equation for magnetic field intensity at any point. Due to a current carrying loop carrying current I and radius R, the point P is at a distance of x from the center of the loop. Okay, now we have to consider two special cases. The first case is if the uh, point P is at the center of the current carrying loop. If the point P is at the center of the loop, what will be the equation for magnetic field intensity? another line ivide nammal oru loop aanu consider cheyyunnathu if there are n number of loops n number of turns undu nenu idu parayunnathu n number of turns undengil idile kude or n kodi cheyyadu mu 0 n i r square nu kandu oru vaada applications varu equation aanu nammal tangent galvanometer oke equation based cheyyunnathu appo adinathe n number of turns undavum therefore n number of turns kodum thoru magnetic field de strength kodum kandile n kodum thoru strength kodum radius kodum thoru strength kodum current kodum thoru strength kodum okay distance kodum thoru strength kodum Well, this is the final equation, and for the uh, case one, when the point P is the at the center of the loop, that is x is equal to zero. When point P is at the center of the loop, x is equal to zero. When x is equal to zero, this term r square plus x square is equal to r square. Therefore, r square all raised to three by two is equal to r cube. That is b is equal to mu zero n i r square divided by two into R cube, R square, and R cube get cancelled. That is, B is equal to mu zero n i divided by two R. This is the first case. Magnetic field intensity at the center of a current carrying loop of current I, number of turns n, and radius R. And the second case is case two. When the point P is at a long, a far away point, x is very much greater than R. If x is a very distant point, then r square plus x square almost equal to x square number. R square number's value, the value x square number's value, the value put it in here. Value is, for example, number x x square number thousand and ninety here. This is thousand. R square is zero point one. Thousand plus point one almost equal to thousand. So x square number number r square is added and there. R square can be neglected. So for b is equal to mu zero n i r square. Divided by two into x square all raised to three by two is equal to x cube. This is the second equation. Okay. Now we get the equation for magnetic field intensity at a point due to a current carrying loop by applying by our solvers. This is the first video, and there is one more video. I will upload it separately. Okay. Thank you.